What you're looking at is a vision of the future. A vessel that needs only a few people on board to sail it and that can be controlled from anywhere in the world. It sounds like science fiction, but it's happening now and it's the start of a revolution in shipping. This vessel is being put through its paces in a Norwegian fjord. Fresh off the production line, it's packed with high-tech kit. Well, here on the back deck, you can see the uh, cameras and some microphones, which represent the eyes and the ears of the ship. The company behind this Ocean Infinity are building a fleet of 23 of these vessels. They'll carry out jobs like surveys for offshore wind farms or checking underwater infrastructure for the oil and gas industry. We fitted this vessel with extra sensors, extra servers, extra cabling, extra information systems. Our ultimate vision is for these vessels to have as small crew as possible. Our idea is really that everybody on the ship has some critical job to do with their hands, their eyes or their judgement that really can't be made remote. This ship is 78 metres long and usually a vessel like this would have a crew of 40 or 50 people but this is operating with just 16. Instead some of the jobs are being carried out by a crew more than 700 miles away. They're in a remote control centre and the plan is to move more and more of the operations there which in this case is in Southampton. And this is that control room. Each of these booths is called a bridge station and they're visually immersive environments. Everything you can see from on board the ship, you can see here on these screens. And as more and more of the vessels come into operation, all of these will start filling up. The work is being shifted from the ship to this futuristic control room. Eventually, even the captain could be here in charge of multiple ships in oceans around the world. For now, it's tasks like watchkeeping or launching underwater robots. It's exciting to know that there's an opportunity to me to work on shore and still be involved in exciting projects. You can do almost everything that you do on, on the vessel. Like you can move around, you can steer it, you can have cameras, you can see the cameras here. It's not the only company turning to this technology. This 12 metre long boat is being tested in Plymouth Sound. It has absolutely no one on board at all. It's being completely controlled by a crew located at the other end of the country in an office in Aberdeen. I mean, could you show us how you can control it from here? Like, for example, could you move it 90 degrees to the left, which is port? Port is right? side. Yeah, port side. We're using the thrusters and uh, we will turn it to port. And you see? Oh, yeah, you can see it moving. Yeah, start moving. Around? Yes. Yep. The captain has precise control of the boat in real time. Could we do a, a figure of eight or something like that? Yeah, let's go for figure eight. So now I'm moving forward. I'm sending command going forward. You know, that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It I looks have funny, done. but yeah, it's okay. It's yeah. definitely an eight. It's definitely an eight. Robotic ships are a big change for the industry but they'll also require a major rewrite of the international regulations that keep ships safe at sea. There's little doubt that this is where shipping is heading. What we are specifically considering in this regard is the role of the master and officers on board. Would you now consider a remote control centre operator being a master equivalent and, and how this will all be regulated in, in the context of international law needs to be seen and it needs further work. On the dockside in Norway, the Ocean Infinity team is busy fitting out their next ship. It will be a long time though before every ship is automated, but the industry is gearing up for change because the next wave of shipping has already arrived. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News.